Howdy ho H2Os and Roller Bros, I'm your guide Q, and welcome to another thread from Ask Reddit, this one looking at stories of people whose parents were that I want to speak to your manager type of person, and I'm really excited to get into these, so let's just check them out. Before Value Village, Savers in the States, I think, changed policies, she would cut tags to get discounts since the cashiers would basically make up whatever price they thought it would be on the spot. If they highballed it, she would get the manager involved, and I hated that. Why do you gotta, like, be a jerk about it, though? Like, if they highball it, just be like, Oh, I guess I can't afford this, I'm not gonna buy this, instead of being like, No, we need to debate the value of this cardigan from 1975. About once a month, my dad gets drunk and calls various customer service centers demanding stuff. Once he finally gets off the phone, frequently 45 plus minutes later, he spends the next few days telling us all about how he slew the customer service dragon, and boy, people sure don't appreciate their customers nowadays, blah blah blah. No duh, dad, you're being a jerk, no one appreciates that. If you've ever worked for Direct TV customer service at any time since 1996, I apologize on behalf of my dad. Edit, another story for y'all. I also remembered one time McDonald's was having some sort of two-for-one breakfast sandwich deal going on where the total was about $3. He gets his breakfast, drives 25 minutes to work, and realizes he's missing one of his sandwiches. He proceeds to call McDonald's customer service support every evening after work for a week just to complain about his wasted $1.50. They gave him apologies, they gave him coupons, but he just wanted to yell. Honestly, I think this is the story of a lot of people that are like that, I want to speak to your manager sort of person. Like, it's not about actually getting the deal. I mean, maybe part of it's that, but another part of it is they just want someone to focus their anger on that they know has to listen and they know is in, like, a lower position to them. And I think that's disgusting. I was with my parents on vacation, and the hotel put charges on the bill by accident. My mom marched to the front desk and demanded to see the manager. There was a long line, but she cut right in front of it. The manager wasn't very helpful, probably because she was rude. So my mom went to all the other customers in line and told them that the hotel was a scam and that they were ripping us off with fake charges. She made a scene. The hotel called the police, and we were escorted off the premises by actual cops. I died inside. This is just, like, so unnecessary. She could have so easily gone to the front desk and just been like, Hey, there are things on this bill that I did not receive. I didn't order these things. Just, can you fix this for me? Please help. But instead, she decided to be indignant about it and just get angry right off the bat. And it made it way more difficult for her to get what she wanted. And now she's getting escorted out by police. I might be late, but my dad once asked the guy at the Verizon Wireless store to give him his own social security number because he asked for my dad's. My dad walked out afterwards with some stranger's social security number on a post-it note. I was a silent bystander because I really wanted my first phone. I, like, really, really hope this employee gave this dude a fake social security number because that is just so sketchy. My mother did this in restaurants non-stop growing up. She would demand to see the manager because my burger, which I asked for medium, had some pink in it. Oh my god, how dare you give my son exactly what he asked for. Right, so my mom and me went shopping, and she dropped a watermelon on the way out. She then claimed it was bruised and demanded a full refund. When they refused, she shouted at customer service and demanded the manager. I just sat there with an end-me-now expression on my face. After, one of the customer service employees gave me a chocolate bar, so seven-year-old me was happy. Not the child, but I think this fits. I had this awful, annoying, terrible neighbor who, because I'm a giant sucker, I was kind to. She asked me to come with her to dinner because it was her birthday, and I knew I was the only person on the planet who would go with her, and gosh darn it, it's her birthday, so how could I say no? So she and I went and we brought our kids. All girls, one mine, two hers. She makes her oldest do her math homework right there at the table. When the child asks for help, mind you, this is like third grade math, the mom says it's too hard. I end up helping. The waiter is just fine. He comes by and takes our orders. She is already acting weird, but she always acted weird, so I didn't think much of it. Waiter comes by again and asks if we need anything. She dismisses him and waves him off and tells him no. Then like 30 seconds later turns to me and is like, can you believe how awful the waiter is? He won't even refill my drink. And just goes on about all these issues that literally don't exist. 
I'm like, he just asked you if you needed anything. She cuts me off. I'm going to talk to the manager. Oh, God. She talks to the manager like this is the worst experience she's ever had in the history of her miserable existence. I'm in shock. Her kids have their heads down. Mine is oblivious. The manager gives her like half off the meal. Oh, and the kicker? That's my half, so you need to pay the rest. Oh gee, thanks! I left a big tip and a note on my receipt telling them the waiter was great and apologizing for the complaints that were totally not warranted. It was the second most embarrassing restaurant experience of my life. I really just feel bad for the kids in this situation because this is just gonna happen to them over and over and over again. This isn't a single experience for them. My mom used to run restaurants, and my stepfather used to be a chef in high-end restaurants and is the kind of guy who expects to be treated better than he is currently being treated, regardless of whatever that treatment is. They are not fun to go out to eat with. The most embarrassing experience is actually their most embarrassing experience, one where I embarrassed them. My wife and I pride ourselves on being a relief table when we go out to eat. Both of us have been servers, and there's always the counterpoint to the difficult table. That's us. Barring horrible service or bad food, we are super easy customers, tip well, and try to have a good time with our server. Furthermore, we just treat people nicely. So you can imagine our disdain when my parents act like they're royalty at a dinner service. My wife and I went out to dinner with them. They were being particularly tough. My mom was acting like she was Gordon Ramsay analyzing the business, critiquing everything down to the amount of bubbles in her seltzer. Looks like it's time to change the CO2. My stepdad was getting more and more heated over stupid things like the amount of ice in his drink and how the waitress didn't top off his water that he was barely sipping on fast enough. It came to a head when my stepfather ordered a steak medium well, it came back medium well, and for some reason he changed his mind that he wanted it medium rare while it was cooking, and they didn't read his mind, so he gave attitude as did my mom. They jumped really quickly to demanding free stuff. I'm an adult, and this may be the first time they realized this. I interrupted in front of the server and said something like, Really? This is what you're doing? That's what you ordered. I turned to the server and said, We do not need anything comped. I then pulled out my wallet and handed her my card and said, This is for the bill. We'll happily wrap up with what we have here. I'm very sorry for their behavior, you're doing great. Then the line that stung them so deep they still bring it up years later. I was taught to treat people nicely, a lesson that seems to be forgotten. Thank you. They turned red, the server walked away. I looked down and cut my steak and didn't say a word. They were so flabbergasted that the meal was virtually silent except me asking my stepfather how his steak was a few minutes later. I signed the check, gave a big tip, and walked out and said goodbyes. They've been nicer to servers each time that we've gone out since. This is so insane. This, once again, sounds like people who just want to create a problem and just want to feel superior to other people. I mean, that steak thing was just absolutely insane. Who decides randomly to get a steak that they don't usually get or, like, a temperature of steak that they don't usually get on the fly like that? Like, you know what kind of steak you like when you go out. Like, you know that you like medium rare. Why would you order medium rare? well and then change your mind that's so dumb and i'm so glad that this person had the guts to completely call them out in this moment good for you my mom has been this person regularly throughout my life, but I do have one positive story with it. She and I went to eat at Portillo's when I was a teenager, and we sat in the back of the restaurant where it was more private so we could eat in peace. About ten minutes into our meal, two people come into the empty area and sit down two tables away from us. Turns out it was a manager and an employee that was getting written up. The manager was being a complete jerk towards the employee, criticizing and belittling them. My mom put down her food and walked over and started yelling at the manager for being such a jerk. She went on a rant about how rude and wrong it was of him to do this in front of the public, two tables away from customers, and really let him have it. She demanded the phone number of the manager above him, and we left after she received it. I was pretty embarrassed at the time, but as I got older, I realized that she was standing up for that employee and how wrong that manager really was. I'm not 100% sure what she did with the phone number because I lived with my dad and had to go home after that meal.
This is a really feel-good story, because sometimes as, like, an employee at a restaurant or any place, you feel like you're just completely out of control of your life. Like, the customers tell you what to do, your managers tell you what to do, you just feel like everybody else rules your world except for you. But in a situation like this, where a customer comes and stands up to your manager like this, it must have just felt so amazing for that employee in that moment. I I'm very happy reading this. The number of cashiers my father demanded the manager fire because they were too slow, rang us up wrong, etc. Including one they actually did. I'll never forget that girl taking her Home Depot apron off and walking away sobbing. To his credit, I guess, my dad seemed surprised that it actually worked and must have felt at least some level of guilt and never did it again. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I get upset with cashiers, not to their faces, just completely internally, when they'll do something like talk to another employee while they're ringing me up and it ends up making my transaction take longer because they keep getting distracted by socializing, but this is just absolutely ridiculous, and it seems like a really narcissistic move to continue to demand that people get fired, so that's why I'm kind of surprised that he ended up having that change of heart moment, but I'm really gr glad he did, it just sucks that he can't take back all of the mean things that he did to other employees. Hey, let me know what you're thinking about these Ask Reddit threads. If you liked the video, feel free to drop a like. That's the first time I've ever asked for likes on this channel, but I'm just curious. I want to see if you guys are enjoying this. Feel free to share it with a friend. You can find all of my social media in the description down below, my Twitter, my Twitch, my Instagram, as well as my Amazon affiliate links for all of the equipment I use. Cool thing about those links is if you click on one of them and then do other shopping on Amazon, I also get credit for that, so consider that stuff. Anyway, skip Skate on to the best of your abilities. Make sure you're drinking more water. Hope you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs> wonderful day, and I will see you soon.